All right, gang, so what I have today on the bench is a U5000 that's been rebuilt. Uh, didn't really need much, you know, in terms of repair. It had an open R765 that was causing it to be dead. But I've talked about R765 and 760 before, so uh, I turned that on. It was dead, did nothing. It turned out to be an open R765. So I replaced that and I fixed it, and I've already got videos on that, which is why I didn't make a video. But after I got it up and running, I noticed that it was it's jittery. If you watch this here... See how it just shifted to the right, back left, it's shifting, moving, bouncing around there. The image is bouncing around. To the right. Shifted and it's all, oh, oh, there it went. So, yeah, see it just shifted. So the whole, oh, yeah, the, the whole image is shifting around. And I've got this too bright just for, so you can witness here and see what's happening. There, see, it's bounced all around right there. So it... It's stable. It can be stable for 10, 15 seconds, and then it just bounces around. And sometimes it'll get, um, I don't know, kind of glitchy in places. Oh, there it went. Don't know if you caught that. But the whole image is glitches out sometimes, and it bounces. Now, I've had this problem in the past, and I'm hoping it's the same issue. So, right here in this section is the horizontal oscillation circuit. Now U701 would be the first thing I'd consider as being the main culprit, but I don't think it's U701. Based off previous experience, this little capacitor right here, I think it's C701. Uh, nope, sorry about that. I ended up dropping the camera there for a moment. Um, I'm kind of holding it pre precariously because I still have the, the mount attached to it for the overhead shots, but all right, so this little capacitor here, C701, I've seen that go bad before because it's in this corner, and when during shipping and handling and moving it around, it can get knocked and bashed and the leg can get broken off or it can get snapped in half. I've seen uh, C701 be bad before. Now, it's, it's intact. It's not broken or leg pulled out, but I've seen this be the cause of a jittery bad image before. Of course, it could be U701 or any of these other components in the U701 section in this corner that get damaged and bent and broken, but... Um, I've seen this be the cause of this exact problem before, C701 there, I think it's 701, if I recall correctly. Uh, 3, 703, sorry, it's C703, as you can see right there. So, it's intact, it's in good shape, but I think that might be the cause of our problem. And I actually have a spare one here from a donor chassis I pulled off that we can use for testing. But, uh, you know, even after all that discussion there, if we look at this, it's still... Oh, we'll zoom out a bit. It's still shaky. It's still bouncing around a little. There it went. There you saw. So up here you can kind of see a bit better. It's out of focus because I turned up the brightness, but uh, there it shifted a little bit. So it, sometimes it's ever so slightly. Sometimes it goes a lot. Sometimes you can see the glitchiness on the screen. Let's see if we can get a one last shot of it here. Oh, there it went. There, oh, there it went. Big example there. So okay, so let's get this turned off. I'm going to remove this. Uh, from here and take that one out and put this one in and see what we get. So let's just mark this one here so I don't accidentally get them confused. So there's my purple Sharpie there. Purple Sharpie mark on that on that C703. So let's get that one out. I'll get the replacement installed and uh, yeah, let's see if that fixes the issue. Okay, so the replacement uh, C703 is now installed and you can see that right there. So the 152 actually is facing outboard. I think the original one that I've got here with our purple mark on it. Man, it doesn't like to focus, does it? Uh, I think this had the 152 facing in inboard. If we flip this around, there should be a 152 on this one. There it is. So there's our original right there. So let's see if that fixes the problem. I mean, the oscillation circuit is just, it's pretty much just all right here. So it's a very limited number of things it could be. And I've never, never really seen anything else go bad except U701 and the C703 here. So yeah, I mean, in my previous experience, it tells me that it almost has to be this or U701. So we'll start with the easiest thing first and let's see. So we'll turn TPG on. It might take a few moments to see an image because I've had this off for five minutes or so. So, okay, turn it on, it comes on. And this is because the flyback is up high to get a contrast for the image to show the problem. And what's going on here? 
Hmm, I haven't touched anything. Or each position is shifted this way. I'm, I'm, if we shift it back this way, it'll probably fix this problem or brighten it back up. But it just shows you that our, this may be the correct problem, or this may be the actual problem, and this our theory may be correct because the horizontal position is so much different where it used to be versus now because this is probably out of tolerance. So if we were to adjust our H position over to where it needs to be, yes, see, now it's fine. And do we have a stable image? I do believe so. I don't see any jumping. Perfectly stable, no glitchiness, no anything. Let's just leave this on camera for about 30 seconds and watch it. Fifteen seconds, nothing. And there's thirty seconds. Nice stable image. Well, there we go. That's where experience pays off because we absolutely had a faulty C703. So, yep, there it is. If you got that problem in the in the future on a K7400, K7500, U2000, U5000, that capacitor is the same in all four of those. And if you got an image that's shifting around or jumping around or jittery, I would very much suspect C703. There you go, prime example. So let's change to RGB and just make sure this is nice and stable and it appears to be. Let's turn that brightness back down right about there. That looks pretty darn good. So let's actually try a real board now. Plug our Cruisin' USA in. That's what I was using for testing earlier. And let's move H position to the left. And how I noticed this before was I was using the Cruisin' USA to test and as I was looking at the screen, you could see the whole thing was just shifting around every so often. And looking at it now, it appears to be perfect. So, yeah, um, bad C703. So, in the future, if you have this problem, I would suspect this. Change it out. I, I had a spare parts board I robbed one from, uh, but we can look at the manual. The manual is readily available, readily available online for these series of chassis. You can just find C703 and uh, find the spec for it and the part number and get a replacement. But yeah, that's uh, that appears to be the cause of our problem, our jittery image. So thanks for watching. Nice, quick, and easy one today. I appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully you learned something, like I say every time. And uh, we'll see you on the next repair.